Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have another What's Old video for you today. It is Wednesday and we're gonna follow Kathy around to see what's old for us today. Um, one second. She was just finishing up. We did have one sale just before I started recording, so she's getting that all figured out. <laughs> Added to the sticky. All right, so let's start with eBay and actually we'll just start with these dresses since I just listed these last night and three of them have already sold. Two of them sold to the same buyer. I don't think any of these were viewers. If they are, they did not say, but if you are, thank you so much. <laughs> um, so this first one is a Nellie Madison and this sold for $49.95 plus shipping. And then the other one this person bought is this Eleanor Rose and that sold for $34.95 plus shipping. So I had about 11 bucks into each. It's a really good start to selling these off. And then this one just sold about an hour ago for, um, I sent an offer on this $30 plus shipping. So. And again, 11 bucks into that, so. And you had almost 50 of them, right? So. Yeah, I think there's 47. We listed, last night I listed 35. I listed a few more today, so. Oh, you haven't even listed all 50 yet, so. Um, well, there's a little less than 50, but there's all, like all four that had yeah. like a flaw and I didn't really photograph those ones yet, so. Hmm. All right, AL. So this Brighton belt that I got from the bins from my stimulus check challenge that sold for seventeen dollars with free shipping. That's an offer I sent out. I only have about a buck into it, and it's going to cost about four fifty or so to ship out. All right, and then DI. Nike fly knits. Um, these ones have been listed for a while. Normally fly knits sell fly off the shelves for me, but <laughs> these ones did not. They were in pretty good shape, you know, minor cosmetic wear, but soles were good and everything. I don't know what it was, but I'm happy they did finally sell for $39.95 plus shipping. And I paid $15 for those, so still pretty good. <laughs> it's about a $20 profit. Uh, CG. So these, I probably had a watcher and I have another pair that are almost just exactly the same and those ones came from the bins. So when I saw that somebody was watching these, I thought it was the pair that came from the Ooh. bins. So I sent an offer that I probably wouldn't have sent otherwise, but it's still an okay sale. Um, I've paid $4 for these ones at a local thrift and I sent the offer of 15 plus shipping. So yeah, I thought I only had about a buck into them, <laughs> but. <laughs> They're just, oh, those were Clarks, so, I mean, they wouldn't have sold for a ton anyways, right. but probably around 20 plus shipping. We seem to do pretty well with Clarks. Yeah. For resale. you price them right, they sell. Okay. Seems like one of those shoe brands, the, the thrift stores don't mark up too high. Um, these are those New Balance Minimus I got from the JBF sale. They sold for $35 plus shipping, and I have about six in them. Your hair is like so staticky. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're electrifying. E. This actually sold to a kiddism friend named Becky. Um, she said her son loved these Hannah Anderson shirts. So it's great because mine doesn't. <laughs> so um, I bought him a bundle of things off kiddism. So I think I have about. $13 and change into this and I sent an offer to Becky. I didn't know it was her when I sent the offer hmm. But I sent an offer to my watcher on eBay of $12.95 plus shipping and she accepted so thank you so much Becky Thank you for the support Becky. She said she loves watching our what solds as well <laughs> All right, the top shelf These ones So the fat babies the That's what they're called. <laughs> yeah, fat babies the Ariats that we got from Nebraska. We paid ten dollars for these, and this pair sold for fifty nine ninety five plus shipping. So really good. All right, I think that was it for eBay, and then AU. For the sale, I it's a Quicksilver button down, and 
I do have five dollars into this and I accepted a twelve dollar offer so not great but it's been listed a little bit and I was just ready to see it again. All right, Mercari, C-H. <laughs> Your hair is cracking me up. <laughs> Not bothering me. <laughs> right, so these are just some REI women's hiking pants that I got from the bins, part of the stimulus check challenge. So about a dollar into these, they sold for 18 plus shipping. And last sale just came in, and this is to a viewer, an Instagram friend. Oh, the last thing in this box. Oh, that backpack. She said backpack, and I, I wasn't thinking that that was the Mario one. So um, so this is going out to Kendra. She's bought from us several times. So thank you again, Kendra. Um, she picked this up on my card for $13 plus shipping, and I have $3 into this. I bought it for my son, but then I was like, do I? does he really need this? So then I just listed it. <laughs> Um, mm. But yeah, my kids love Mario, but they have a ton of plushies and backpacks. So, yeah, Kendra, thank you so much. We will get those out today. Yes, thank you so much for the support, Kendra. That's about it for now. So we'll go ahead and work on packing this stuff up. And just like that, it's all packed up, ready to go. We did have a couple things to go over. You want to go over the board, right? Yeah, just to show sure you Our guys momentum what we board. On. All right, so yeah, we mentioned we got most of the dress listed. So we did 35 last night for $1,200. And remember this price that I put on the board is just not including the shipping. So $1,205 listed plus shipping. And that's the list price. So some might sell for less, you know, when we run sales and everything. Then so far today I've done nine for $266. Um, so yeah, we're still way behind for like what I want to be at for a week. And we are going to Denver this weekend because Chris's mom's going to take our kids to Texas. A little I camping think, to trip. To see yeah. their cousin. And yeah, so our anniversary is here. So I think she's busy that weekend. So she's taking them with her so we can kind of have our anniversary a week early. So we're going to get a hotel up there, stay a couple nights. And, and the best news, the best news is we're going to finish up the Denver, <laughs> or not the Denver, the, the thrift hall or... Stimulus check challenge. We're going to finish up the stimulus check challenge. It's been so, so long I couldn't remember what it was called. <laughs> yeah, I think we have, what, 150 bucks or something left to spend there, and Chris is going to come with yeah. us. Yeah, we'll try to get a little bit of footage in the Denver Benz. We've heard that they... Um, <laughs> I'm not going to try to get footage. Yeah, I'll try. He's going to try. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. And I'm not going to stand by him if he's trying to record either. <laughs> So yeah, that's what we're working on. Um, I'm sure you guys saw the racks over here in the beginning, like as we were pulling stuff. So my neighbor just put these basically on curb alert. <laughs> so Chris ran over and got them. Yeah, it actually happened a few weeks ago. They've just been sitting in my garage because they were they were pretty dusty. Like they were sitting in her garage. So a little dusty, but I dusted them off a little bit. But you're gonna be using them to. Yeah, um, they're not gonna like. I mean, they might stay up here for a little bit, but they're yeah. not gonna be like where we store shoes. They're basically just gonna be like our processing. So like right now we have pretty much two bags of shoes here, another like six bags of Goodwill yeah. stuff downstairs I need to bring up that we just kind of bought throughout the last week. So I'm gonna process all those shoes today and then kind of put them up here. We'll probably do a haul video, but yeah, between typing them into the computer and then put them on here, photograph them, put them back on here. Yeah put them in a bag, put them away. Well, and you could probably even have the ones you need photographed on one side, you're sitting in the middle, and then when you're done photographing it, put it there. set it on the rack that will be where you're standing. You don't even have to stand up or nothing. You just yeah. go right through all the photos, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just to kind of, it'll make it easier to just see everything yeah. in one big picture instead of right now we're just kind of moving bags around and stuff. It's yeah i don't like it <laughs> so and these like were free so that. you can't beat the free price yeah. um if you guys aren't on a facebook neighborhood group you can find a lot of good stuff i actually got one of our neighbors was giving away a bunch of like flagstones so i got like two thousand dollars worth of flagstones for free i just had to go get them out of her backyard which i was sore for a couple days after that <laughs> but what did you do with that flagstone it's still in the front yard <laughs> yeah <laughs> That's one of the spring projects that we're working on. <laughs> it might not get done this year. I don't know. Um, but you can't pass up on $2,000 of free flagstone. Am I right? Um, so, yeah, these are not the sturdiest racks, but they were free. We'll use them until they collapse or until we find better ones. 
or until, you know, we don't like them. I don't know. So this video ended up being a little shorter than normal. We're going to add in tomorrow's what's sold. So stick around. All right, guys, it's the next day. It's Thursday. Check out all this fog we have going on. And they're calling for some snow later tonight, which is great because we're going on a trip to Denver tonight or tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> um, so that's fun. Better be there. It's, we always me. plan a trip. <laughs> it always snows. It, it's crazy. <laughs> it's our curse. <laughs> all right. So we'll just jump right yeah. into our sale. So uh, we'll start with Kittizen since I have these right here. Uh, so this buyer actually bought two pairs of the play shoes. Um, I have $10 into each. She paid a total of $52.65 for these and it'll cost me $5.15 to ship out and then yeah basically I doubled my money on those guys. Alright we did have another Facebook sale. I still have not listed anything new but some old straggler listings are selling off. Um, these are some Eddie Bauer men's sandals from the bins from my stimulus check challenge. So Men's sandals seem to do well on Facebook. Huh. Yeah. I feel like we've been selling a lot of Keens and Pretty much any Sandal. sandals right now. Yeah. Probably just because it's sandal time. That's true. Uh, so those, about a dollar into them, they sold for $12 plus shipping. I made a couple posh sales. BW. This is something I've had a while, but I realized when I sold it last night and went to delist it that I did not have them pretty much cost posted at all. So be why it took a while for them to sell yeah uh the brand is red wing which is a great brand these are women's just like loafers though so nothing fancy um if you find a pair of these boots especially men's and like the taller the better they can go for hundreds of dollars but these sold for 29 dollars. so mm. definitely a good brand to look out for really good quality um i only paid four dollars for those so still a good sale all right so cv This is something we've had forever. I, in my spreadsheet, it had a question mark, so I don't even remember where I got it. I believe I got it from the bin, so probably a dollar or so into it. Someone offered me 10, I just took that because I'm ready to see it go. What were they? Oh, it's an American Eagle men's, like, Henley sweater. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. I thought I it was shoes. I definitely don't purposely <laughs> source American Eagle unless it's like a really good pair of jeans or like shorts, yeah. denim shorts. Um, unless I'm at the bins, I'll pretty much grab it if it's cute. It's possible that was from a long okay, time ago. It's definitely our... from over a year. Yeah. Probably two years ago. All right, and the rest of the sales today are from eBay, so BR. these Tommy Bahama men's flip-flops for $23.25 plus shipping. I have $6.99 into these. And then box A. So these Nike Sunray sandals that I got at JBF last week. Um, I have about six into them. They sold for $19.95 plus shipping. Um, and then AU. Another, these are Nike, those are Nike too, so. <laughs> uh, these are Nike sneakers. I paid $8 for these, sold them for $29.95 plus shipping. And then D. This is a Hannah Anderson like um, animal print pajama set. So I got this at Goodwill for $2.99. It looked like it was in great shape. I looked it over really well in the store, but when I got it under my photo lights, the busy pattern, I think, distracted me from, there was quite a few stains on this, which I pointed out in the listing, but yeah. So I marked it. We have a 30% off sale running on some, about half of our closet right now, stuff that we're okay with moving. So I did, even though that's a new listing, I put it in the sale because of the flaws. So. Mm -hmm. It sold for $13.96 plus ship, so still about probably a $9 profit or so. That's not bad. No. A CB. Alright, CB. 
these are some saltwater sandals. I actually got these on Kitizen a while back as part of a bundle deal to get what I wanted cheaper. So I do have $13 into these, but they sold for $20.95 plus shit. So I'll make a few dollars above and beyond what I spent. And then BU. I sold that was quick so <laughs> uh, these are just some men's swim trunks they sold for $26 plus shipping and I bought them for 10 right. and then BC oh Reese someone said we got to give you a treat if I have to yeah. make you move <laughs> come here Reese we don't have treats for over you over here Bubba you gotta move these treats are carrots but we need to get some come more come on Reese come <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's, he's putting his butt up in the air. <laughs> All right, so these little Nikes, also from JBF last week. Um, so about six into them, sold for $19.95 plus shipping. And then last sale so far. You can so go back far, and lay down there, Reese. Hopefully the next one's not over there. <laughs> so these are Todd Forever. They are Crocs, and they're new at tag, but... I guess the style, I don't know. I thought they were nice. I guess people probably don't need red shoes for very many occasions, but I paid $5.99 for these and they finally sold for $17.46 plus shipping. I did just drop the price recently and then they, I think they're on a sale as well. So yeah, that was it for today. All right, we'll go ahead and pack that stuff up and then hopefully we get another sale. All right, guys, we got this all packed up and we did have two more sales that Kathy. Three more sales. Oh, three more. All right. Uh, so. First up are these fit flops. And I think these are the first pair of fit flops I've sold that aren't sandals. And these took forever to sell. Let's see. August of last year is when I bought these. So I was just sick of seeing them. They are in our 30% off sale this week. Plus I sent a little bit extra off. So this buyer paid $19.92 plus shipping. I bought these for $5.99. So not great, but not bad either. Hey, you. Something else I just wanted to get rid of. I think this is it. Uh, these are some North Face, just gray Capri hiking type pants. Um, Capri pants do not sell. Do not pick them up. <laughs> Crop pants don't do well for me for the most part. Yeah. These I've had since August of 2018. So almost three years. And they just sold for $9.94 plus shipping. And I paid $5.99 for them way back when because I love North Face. And I was like, oh, these will sell for like $30. But no. They did not. <laughs> so, do not buy something just because you like the brand. I still do it. And then last but not least, this one sold on Mercari. Um, $26 for shipping, and I have $6 into those. So, uh, did I say that it's, those are the Moss Man Australia mm. swim chunks. Yeah. Okay. You probably saw in the background over here, we've got these 88 pairs of shoes. We're gonna hopefully get a haul video up on those and get some photographs because we're heading to Denver tomorrow. And that would be a nice little bit of chunk of work to get done in our downtime when we're up in Denver, when we're not thrifting. So um, it'll give us a little bit of uh, work to do and we can keep our stores uh, current yeah, so we're not quite exactly <laughs> sure on if we're going to be extending our handling times or anything because we're leaving Friday probably around noon-ish. I think check-in at the hotel is like four, so I don't know. We'll probably thrift on our way up through Castle Rock and Monument and stuff and, um, yeah, see where the weekend takes us. But, hey, thank you so much for watching, guys. That is going to do it for this What's Old video. Um, if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. We are very close to hitting 5,000 subs, which is huge, and it's going to be a great milestone for us to reach. We're so appreciative of all you subscribers and viewers out there. Thank you so much for allowing us to grow, 
And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.